Back in 1928, Disney celebrates the birth of Mickey Mouse, and Amelia Earhart made headlines for being the first woman to cross the Atlantic in flight. In that year, somewhere between the juke joints, the barrel houses, and the rent parties, a young man, barely out of his 20s, named Clarence Pinetop Smith, would compose a piece of music he called Pinetop's Boogie Woogie. Becoming an immediate popular success, it would forever cement the phrase Boogie Woogie to this piano playing style, and thereby create the genre's brand. That's why this is often referred to as the original Boogie Woogie, Pintas Boogie Woogie.
I'd like to do a couple of uh, non-traditional blues. Uh, I'm going to do a blues treatment of a uh, uh, song that's very famous. It came out first in the 1939 hit film called The Wizard of Oz. And Judy Garland's singing of this song won it that year an Academy Award, beating out the equally famous soundtrack uh, to Gone with the Wind. I remember hearing a brilliant delivery of this piece of music from the musical actor Mandy Patinkin back on a 1980s David Letterman show, and an even more charming arrangement of it from a Hawaiian ukulele artist uh, played during the scrolling credits of the Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks sentimental pick called You've Got Mail. Uh, it's a song, uh, as it's originally described in the first movie, about a place where there's no more trouble, somewhere above the chimney tops, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> 